Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland uh, and this short video is going to consider, uh, I suppose, what is a one-to-one -one or an injective function. So it's on functions, it's another video in our series of videos dealing with functions and more importantly it's going to concentrate on injective, injective functions, okay? Uh, so I suppose the first question that we should ask ourselves is what is an injective function and then we have a definition for that okay uh, so our definition our definition okay our definition is something like this okay well first of all we have to have a function in the first place and that function must uh, map domain values into co-domain values so we need to define those particular two sets so let's say we have let a and b be non-empty be non-empty Okay, be non-empty sets. Okay, uh, and let f be a mapping from a into b. Okay, so we just have we have we have a function. Okay, let a and b uh, be sets, and f be a function which is a mapping from a into b. Okay, then then we say we say that that f that f is injective. Okay injective okay uh, or maybe what we, we could say is one to one okay it's injective if if for all if for all uh, let's say for all uh, x1 x2s that are in our domain okay uh, that we have we have uh, if if x1 is not equal to x2 well then this implies this implies okay uh, that that f of x1 okay is not equal to f of x2 okay so basically what it's saying is this is that if we have if we have a function that maps domain values into codomain values okay let's say the function is f okay that we say that the function is injective it's injective if for any two values that we choose from the domain any two values that we choose from the domain okay and when them two values are not equal to each other okay well then what we must have is that their mappings okay are not equal to each other also okay really from a graph perspective what this is saying so from a graph perspective okay so from a graph perspective okay what we have is we have a or let's say yeah from a directed graph perspective we have set a we have set b okay a is the domain okay and b is the codomain okay is the codomain okay uh, so what I'm saying is that when we choose any two values in a okay so let's say we choose x1 okay and we also choose x2 okay and if x1 is not equal to x2 so let's make these separate here so x1 is not equal to x2 okay well then if the function is injective that this implies that when we map f of x1 when we map x1 across okay under the mapping f okay uh, that this particular value here this is f of x1 okay should not be equal to the value that x2 is mapped into which is which is f of x2 okay that these two values should be separate if that makes sense okay and that's what we mean for a one-to-one -one or an injective function okay is if we two, two, choose two values from the domain and the two values are not equal to each other well then what this must imply is that when we map them across that they're mapped to two values that are also not equal to to each other okay let's consider another example so in this case here this would be an example of an injective of an injective function okay so it's an injective function this would be an example of okay let's consider another example so let's say we have a function uh, a sorry we have a function f which is mapping domain a into codomain b okay uh, and let's say that we have two values that are not different to each other okay so or sorry two values that are different to each other we have x1 and we have x2 okay they're they're in the domain there we go and if they're not equal to each other which in which case they we're specifying here okay and then the other possibility is that both of these values okay both of these values got mapped to the same value if that makes sense okay where this value is f of x1 and it's also f of x2 okay but they're 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 equal to each other okay and this is what we mean for a function so this is under the mapping f okay this is this is our domain okay 
this is our codomain okay and this is what we mean for a function to be not not injective okay not injective it's a not injective function okay so it is not injective yeah okay so what we have is that we have two different values going to different values that means it's injective we have two different values going to the same value that means it's not injective so actually from a graph perspective the way we know that we have a not injective function is where we look at the codomain and more importantly when we look at the range values within the codomain okay that's the values that are actually mapped into uh, that we have a value inside a range okay the range are the values that are actually mapped into that has two incoming edges okay or at least at least two incoming edges that means it's not it's not injective when we look at our range which was which is within our codomain that's the values that are that our domain values are mapped into okay uh, if all of the actual values inside the range have a single edge coming into them or a single arrow pointing into them well then that's evidence to suggest that the function is injective okay let's have a look at a particular a particular example of what an injective function actually might look like or maybe if we want to test to see whether a specific 